All right, welcome back to Photoshop. And today we're gonna to take a look at some realistic retouching. All right, most of the stuff that you see online is completely unrealistic. So we're not gonna make this woman look like she's 22 years old because she's not 22 year old. But we're gonna remove some unwanted lines. We're going to help remove some splotching on skin. And I'm gonna show you the process that I use. Now, it is labor intensive because anytime you want something done correctly, you need to do it yourself. I will quickly come in here and I'll show you the neural engine of skin softening. And it really does what it says. It literally softens the daylights out of the skin. No one looks like that, they look fake. So then we're gonna show you the proper way to do the skin retouching. To show you the first method, we're gonna go up here to filter, neural filters. And I'm not saying that neural filters can't work. Um, it can, but it only works on certain people when you just actually really wanna soften their skin just a little bit. If you try to do too much to it, it just basically blurs the daylights out of it. It doesn't look good. So let's go ahead and do smart skin smoothing. And we have the ability to change the blur. You can already see how soft the blur is. Nobody's face is glowing like that. So we've got smoothness and blur. So smoothness is taking out those lines. We'll just leave it where it is. And let's remove some of the blur because it, it just looks unrealistic. We're going to output this as a new layer. Just so you can see. And what I want you to do is look right here at this nose. Look how softened the nose is compared to what it's really looking like. You can see. It's just doing an overlay of a blur. It does not look good, all right? It gives her a little glow, but it's really not doing what we want it to do. So let's go ahead and delete this layer. I'm gonna show you this process. Now I am going to use frequency separation, but I'm not gonna do it in the beginning. And the problem with frequency separation is, it separates the detail from the kind of skin colors. So. If you wanna remove this line, you need to do it in both the detail and the skin layer. And for a subject like this, that's just gonna take way too long because there's too much stuff that we wanna remove. So I'm actually gonna do this in its own separate layer. So if I screw something up, we can delete it or erase it. So all we need to do is come down here to the plus and we're gonna click plus. And we're gonna create a blank layer and we can call this blank layer, retouching just so we know what we did there. And now we're gonna go into the retouching part. And I'm gonna use mainly two different things. I'm gonna use this healing brush, not the spot healing brush, the healing brush. The difference here is it lets me pick a texture. If I do the healing brush, it sort of leaves a smooth area and it gets rid of the texture of the skin, which is exactly what I do not wanna do because people have texture on their skin. So we don't wanna remove that we just want to reduce that, big difference. So this is gonna give us the texture back and then I'll probably use the patch tool a little bit and I'm gonna use that down here on the neck and try to get rid of some of these lines. So we're gonna create that in its own separate layer just in case we mess something up or do too much. So one thing you need to know when you are using these tools, both the healing brush and the patch tool, you wanna to make sure that all layers are being sampled from. If you don't, because there's nothing on a blank layer, if you just did that current layer, nothing would happen because you're sampling a blank layer. So you need to make sure it's either current or below. In this case, it's just easier to do all layers. And when you're using the healing brush, the way this works, and I'll zoom into the face a little bit so you can see what I'm doing, I'm picking a texture that I want. So if I'm removing this little splotch right here, I wanna pick a texture that's like that. I'm gonna hold my option on a Mac all on a PC. I'm gonna hold that, I'm gonna target that, and then I can go over that. And it's gonna replace that area using Content Aware, but it's using the texture that we had in the image before. And so I can go through all these different areas and kind of fix these areas by targeting and then painting over to remove, in this case, some splotchy skin liver spots on the face. And I just go around and do as much as I want. Then I'm gonna come in here and do some of these lines. Now, if you look at this, she has texture on her skin here. I'm actually going to pick that texture even though I don't really want that texture 
but it's gonna blend in. So I'm gonna pick this texture. I'm gonna remove the line, but I'm gonna replace it with the same texture that's already there. So we do that there. So that's what I'm doing in that location using the healing brush tool. And then I'm gonna take the patch tool and just cause this is gonna work better than the healing brush tool. And I'm gonna circle this area up and I'm gonna go down right below it. And boom, we're gonna replace that area with that sort of texture. If I'm not getting enough structure, I want more detail, I can increase that to make it look more realistic. All right, those are the techniques I'm gonna use. So we're gonna speed this up because this is gonna take me a while to go through and do. And there's nothing for me to say, it's just me going in and fixing specific areas. You'll notice that I'm not trying to fix any of this area. It's just the main lines in the face that I wanna get rid of, something like this. So we're gonna speed this up and you can watch me go through and I will work on this face. Okay, that looks pretty good. I've gone through and gotten a majority of stuff. I actually think I will add that right there. Get rid of that little spot. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to take a look at this with and without. So you can see we've removed a lot of the imagery. Now, a lot of the stuff here is some splotching and shadows that we wanna get. And most of the rest of the stuff is going to be inside a frequency separation of everything that we've done. Now, to do this, I, I wanna either merge these two layers, or in this case, I'm gonna do stamp visible, which is command option shift E, or control alt shift. And that makes a copy of everything that is below. So now we've applied this to the photo. And that is because I wanna do the frequency separation on this. So we're gonna hit Command J again, so we duplicate that layer, and this will be our low slash color layer here. Is going to be our high slash detail. We're gonna turn that layer off. We're gonna click on this layer and we're gonna blur it. So we're gonna go up here to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and this is uh, difficult to tell. The amount of blur is really gonna be dependent on your image size and how tight the photo is and what you want. So I'm just kind of coming here and blur this looks like we're gonna go a little higher, four and a half. Yeah, just a little bit blurred there. That looks pretty good. We're gonna hit okay. And then we're gonna turn this back on and select this layer. It's important that you do this. You must select the detail layer and you're gonna go to image, apply image. I'm gonna change this layer to the color layer, which is this layer and we wanna change this to subtract, and this should be two and 128, you can see. And this is showing you the detail, that's what this is doing. It's very, very similar to a high pass filter. And you're gonna hit okay. We're gonna come back here and we're gonna change this to linear light. And it's pretty much gonna look normal, but now when we turn this layer off, we're gonna have this blurred color layer, and this is, this is what we want. And we're gonna try to reduce some of these shadows and blend this in so these veins and these areas or are more subtle, all right? Right here, more subtle. Not remove, subtle. So we're gonna click on this low layer to do this and we're gonna zoom in because it's just easier to see. And actually my favorite way to start to do this is to use the lasso. We're gonna turn the lasso maybe a pixel radius of eight and we're gonna come in here and we're gonna circle the area with a strong shadow. And then we're just gonna blur this. We're just kind of like, almost like you're blending with makeup, you're spreading it out. So we're gonna go filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and we're gonna raise this up, usually around eight, 10 or something like that. And then you're gonna hit okay. You don't wanna make it too blurry or it will, um, you'll be able to see it. You can see we, we went from there to making it blur out a little bit more. If that doesn't work, you can use the patch tool. So we can come in here and we can take this patch tool and we can select it just like we did before. We can move it and see if that looks a little bit better there, okay? Either way, they're both doing the same thing. 
We're just removing the shadows with a different area to try to get a smoother transition. So in, in the case down here where we have this kind of like dark area, either move that out to help get rid of it. So in these areas where we've got these really dark areas, blurring it's not gonna help as well. So we're gonna use the patch tool and we're gonna try to replace these areas with a better color, which would be right over here. Do something like this and it doesn't work the first time, don't do it again, just undo it and redo it. All right, that's looking better. I don't wanna make this super unrealistic. So let's go ahead and grab that line. I do that there. Got this sort of white area. Try to make it a little more even. And you'll see that's a lot of what I'm doing is just trying to even stuff out. Like where we've got these highlights. Let me just get rid of those highlights. That patch tool. We can come up here and see if a blur on this big area will help. Ooh, that's too much. So filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Let's remove that down. That looks pretty good. It's, it's reduced that, which is what we want. We don't want to remove it. We just want to reduce it. Try to do the same amount here. Looks pretty good. Let's see where else we want, might want to do that. Maybe right in here. Blur that. Trying to just blur these two areas together a little bit. That looks pretty good. We're not going to spend tons of time doing this because it will take forever to do the retouching on it. All right, so that looks good. So let's zoom back out. Now remember, when you do the frequency separation, you're still going to have that detail layer of some of those areas. So you can see that neckline right there came back in. So if you turn that off and on, you still got that strong neckline. So if we want to remove that, we need to do it in both, both areas. All right, so that looks pretty good. Now the trick here with this is she does have a lot of textured skin. And remember I said we still want it, and this is what frequency separation does. We don't want to blur or just smooth the skin. We want the detail to be in there, but we're going to reduce it. So we're going to take this opacity and reduce it down so it's not as intense as it was before. So we're getting some of that skin softening technique, but we're doing it by just reducing the opacity of that area. And right here where she's got a lot of skin texture, this is somewhere where you could easily come in with a mask. So we've got our brush, we've got our flow at 6%. We want the color black, well why? Because remember black hides. And then we're simply just gonna paint over those areas where we wanna reduce the detail. Just bring up some more softening. So here we wanna reduce it, we don't wanna remove it. Make my brush really small, we're coming here. Same thing here, I'm just reducing this in this area. We want her to look more realistic than we do non-realistic. So you can see I've gone in there and do that. So let's go ahead and just using these simple techniques, let's go ahead and select everything and put it into a group. And then we're gonna go back out just so I can see better. And this is what the image looked like before. And this is what it looks like now. You can see we don't have any of that weird blur. We could add a little bit of blur if we wanted but we removed a lot of the major lines. We've left some of them, so she still looks closer to her age, but we reduced some of the annoyance, especially which is the lines and crow's feet in here. I still have them. I could really go in here and refine this if I wanted. And this is gonna be the last and most important step of this whole process. So we know right here in this group, we did all this stuff and we did this frequency separation, but this is the issue, you only want it on the skin. Right now, we're actually reducing the detail on the lips and the eyes, the hair and the clothes, which we don't want. So we're going to 
make a mask. And in this case, I'm going to make an inverted mask, meaning a black mask by holding the Alt or Option key and clicking down here on the mask. That's going to remove everything that we just did. I'll grab my brush. I want to make sure that it's white and it's at 100%. Let me click on the mask over here. And what I'm gonna do is now apply a mask to the face, but it's kind of hard to paint the lips and the eyes out. So I'm actually just gonna paint it all over the skin and the eyes, and then I'll remove it, just because I find that way easier. So we'll make this smaller, we'll come down here, make sure we get all that retouching. Hope that looks good. These are the important parts. Okay, now we're gonna zoom in and we're gonna take it out. So we're gonna hit the letter X, which will flip this from white to black because we want to remove something. We're gonna take our brush and reduce it now nice and small. We're gonna paint these eyes back in, paint these eyes back in, paint the lips back in so that they have the original detail. And now we'll hit Command Zero to zoom back out. And that's the process. So now we're applying that skin retouching, but we're only applying it to the skin you need to make sure that you do do that step. It is an extremely important part of the process. I'm gonna go in here and I'll eventually clean up a few more of these spots for the final video tutorial image. But if you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, you can always leave those below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.